Hey there, I am attorney Kelly Longton from Kelly Longton Law, and today I want to talk to you about living and testamentary trusts, and are they the same? You know, in the world of estate planning, terms that refer to legal documents such as wills and trusts and powers of attorney and health care directives can be confusing and even overwhelming at times for people. What is a will and how does it differ from a trust? What distinguishes a springing power of attorney from an immediate power of attorney, or are they actually the same thing? It's no wonder that estate planning can get so confusing for people. The concepts of trust is another area within estate planning that can create a great deal of confusion for people unfamiliar with the law. In this short video today, I'm hoping to clarify some of the different types of, tr of trust, at least the two different types of trust that I'm going to talk to you about today, a living trust and a testamentary trust, in order to help you uh, avoid confusion and better determine which tools are appropriate for your situation and whether they are being used in your own estate planning. Let's talk about living trusts first. A living trust is the most common type of trust that you'll encounter in estate planning. Many individuals use a revocable trust as their primary estate planning tool. You may also see living trusts referred to as inter vivos trusts, where inter vivos is simply the Latin phrase for between living persons. Now, a living trust is created during the trust maker's lifetime rather than at death. To enter a living trust, the trust maker enters into an agreement with a trustee that places the trustee under a legal obligation to use the money and property in the trust only for the benefit of the beneficiaries named in the trust document or a trust instrument signed by the trust maker. A trustee who fails to fulfill the terms of the agreement can be held liable for any damages suffered by the beneficiaries and can be removed as the trustee. Living trusts can be either revocable or irrevocable, and they can be designed in limitless ways, precisely customized to achieve the unique goals and objectives of the trust maker. Another type of trust is a testamentary trust which is created under the terms of a decedent's last will and testament. A testamentary trust comes into being upon the testators, the person who created the will, upon their death, because a will becomes effective only when the testator or the creator passes away. For example, an individual's last will and testament may instruct the executor of their estate to create a trust after the testator's death for the specific purpose of receiving some or all of the property owned by the deceased testator's estate. The will typically has provisions for naming a trustee and contains the terms of the trust, spelling out how the property in the trust will be used or distributed for the beneficiary's benefit. Because this type of trust is not created until the death of the trust maker, it is referred to as a testamentary trust as it exists as a rel as a result of the trust maker's last will and testament. As you can see, even though these two types of trusts all share a certain terminology, for example, the word trust, they can be very different in certain respects. So why do I, our laws insist on using similar terminology to describe such different concepts? Unfortunately, in the law, tradition is a difficult thing to escape. Certain legal terminology has a long history of describing very particular legal concepts and attempting to create a new terminology for concepts known for centuries in the law can create even greater confusion and conflict in the courts. So we sometimes cling to these traditional terms despite the confusion that they may cause to the layperson. That's not to say that legal terminology can never change. And it does happen. So perhaps someday there'll be more clarity when talking about the different types of trust. But in the meantime, I hope that I have been able to today to clarify at least one small corner of this legal world for you. I want to thank you for watching. I'm attorney Kelly Longton from Kelly Longton Law.